don't see anybody here. If you sell your children for dope, I'm going to take a baseball bat. No, I won't. I'll have somebody else do it. Amen. Never mind. And I hurt one of my children. I keep an eye on my children. You should keep an eye on your children. Because not everybody that goes to church is a Christian. You'll get that in a little bit. Amen. So Lot has no discernment. And they finally basically have threatened them. And so Lot's still talking, and finally the angels pull him in and cause blindness, verse 11, 1911. And they wearied themselves to find the door. You say, what does that mean? That means they still trying. They ain't gave up. Even though they blind. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's some people out to do wicked, and they don't care what do they got to do. Right. They wearied themselves. You know what wearied means? They dead tired. They wore themselves out because they wanted to commit wickedness. Let me tell you what the world, the devil, amen, and society, amen, wants to do to your children. They want to destroy them and you. That's what the Sodomites want to do. They want to sodomite every man, and they want to sodomite every woman. They want to sodomite every child. You don't like it too bad. Well, my nephew's one. Well, too bad. Every family's got one. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I got a few minutes left. Amen. Thank you. So the angel said, uh, tell you what we're going to do. Everybody blind. Nobody can see. I would have kicked a couple of them guys, amen, because they're all weary and running around. You know, so. At least kick one. He said, go find your family and everybody you love and get the heck out of town because we're going we gonna to destroy it. Fire and brimstone. So they leave. I mean, they leave, they take off. They go over there to their son-in-laws, which have married his daughters, and have children. That's his grandchildren. They say, uh, these angels are going to fix and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, and we got to get out of here. And they seem to mock him. See, he's lost his testimony. They don't believe a word he has to say anymore. Right. They also said, don't look back. Mrs. Lot is so used to running the house, yeah. she said, ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. Right. I do I, if I want to look back, I look back. And she heard fire and brimstone going, boom, boom, boom. And she heard, ah! That's what it sounded like. Amen. Did you like the sound effects? Amen. I can do it again. Amen. You want to hear it again? Amen. Ah! Boom. Boom. Ah! You know what she did? She turned around. You know what happened? She became a pillar of salt. Why? No discernment. The angel said, don't turn around. She died. You know why? 
wouldn't even listen to an angel. If God himself was to come in here and tell you, amen, you're lost and going to hell. Come down the altar and give your life to Jesus. You wouldn't come. Who does this God think he is? God? Um, yeah. She died. Naomi, Ruth, they made it back. Yeah. Come on, Michael. Three men, no discernment. Lot, no discernment. Lot's wife. No discernment. He's usually in a suit, but he's been in San Antonio for three days. Amen. Riding on stuff like that. Amen. No discernment. This is the third message I've had on no discernment in a row. Do you suppose maybe God's trying to tell you something? You know what this Bible says? If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and unbraideth not and it shall be given unto him. Some of you need wisdom for your life. Financial life physical life, romantic life, spiritual life. You need discernment for your family, for how to treat your mate, how to treat your children. Some of you need to get saved. You need to get born again. Why don't you come down here and ask God, God, would you give me a little little up here, amen? Because I don't want to be, I don't want to wind up like that. Why don't we all stand? Every head bowed, every, every eye closed. Can I ask you this? If you died right now, right now, would you go to heaven? If you died right now, would you go to heaven? raise your hand. He said, Preacher, I know for a hundred percent. I know for a fact I'd go to heaven. I'm a hundred percent sure. That's a lot of hands. There's some that I didn't see. You put them down. There's some I don't see. Why don't you come down here? Let us take a Bible. Just come on. Let us take a Bible and show you how you get saved. Naomi's husband would have said, What are we going to do? There's a famine. We're going to stick it out. Churches they go up, churches go down, churches go in cycles. Sometimes it's good times, sometimes it's bad times. Sometimes we shout the house down, and sometimes we weep and cry. Over. to me last week and she said, Preacher, I can't come no more. My parents are moving to spring. She wanted to get baptized. I 
as long as she was here this morning. She said, I want to come back. She's been coming for over a year and a half now. What do you do? You just keep going on. Keep going on with God. Keep on praying. Keep on reading your Bible. Keep on going to church. Keep on serving God. You make up your mind. I don't care if there's a famine or not. We'll just have to cut that bread one more <laughs> <laughs> Cut a little bit thinner. We're just gonna have to make it make do. We're just gonna have to look in the pantry and see what's in there and make something. We're gonna do whatever it takes. We ain't quit. told Abraham, oh, son, if he would have told him, you're my uncle, you know God. I don't know God like you know God. We got a troublemaker. Let's get rid of the troublemaker. But I ain't going. You can have everything I got. You can have everything I got, but I'm going to hate it ever leave I ain't going to leave you. I'm not leaving you. You're my priest. You're my preacher. And I ain't leaving your side. He had a chance to get back. Pride wouldn't let him come back. No discernment. son-in-laws died some of his children died his grandchildren died his wife died no discernment times it's during the hard times anybody can serve God during the good times it's through the bad times that's when you got to make up your mind I ain't quit Pray for us, Brother Jane.